Today on Ready Pet Go, the story of second chance dogs who are now living their best lives for the very first time. Yeah, and it's all thanks to a facility more than 500 miles away helping extremely fearful pups who otherwise couldn't be adopted. Monica Robbins shows us how some of the dogs ended up here and are now thriving. Come on, girl. Let's go. At first glance, there's nothing remarkable here. Just a beautiful day for a walk in the North Chagrin Reservation. Millie. An ordinary outing, it seems. Until you know the extraordinary lengths it took to get here. When we first met her in the shelter, she looked very pitiful and kind of shut down, sad. Um, we could tell she'd been through a lot. Millie, so confident on a leash, is far different today. Back in 2022, she was one of 300 dogs rescued from backyard breeders in Nevada. The neglect and abuse so terrible, more than half the animals could not be saved. Though Millie survived, she was broken inside. She spent her whole life so far in a cage outside. So she had went to the BRC to kind of learn how to be a dog. BRC stands for Behavioral Rehabilitation Center, which the ASPCA started as a pilot program more than a decade ago. It was the first and only facility dedicated to providing behavioral rehabilitation for severely fearful, unadoptable dogs, like those rescued from puppy mills and hoarding situations. Many of them were extremely under-socialized, had severe fear that prevented them from having good quality of life or being able to live as companion animals. After the pilot successfully graduated 267 dogs, a new permanent facility was built in North Carolina that can house up to 65 dogs at a time. They work solely with homeless dogs whose fear impacts their quality of life and makes adoption impossible. That included Millie who required months of slow and thoughtful rehabilitation before she could be ready for her next stop at Rescue Village in Geauga County. They come to us with a whole lot of training and a whole lot of work that the ASPCA does. But then they get here and they spend a little more time with us sometimes, like Kenzie's been with us 190 days. Part of that is being in the shelter, part of that is being out in foster, which is also super important. We get to know them. Like Millie, Kenzie also came from the BRC. Rescued from a hoarding situation in Georgia, the pup has come a long way. Kenzie is still looking for a forever family, a patient one that would also have another dog for him to befriend. He's more comfortable with dogs. You know, he's kind of like an introverted dog person. He's gonna be that guy that's right beside you, excellent walker. It's a team effort between the BRC and its partnered organizations like Rescue Village to mend the minds and lift the souls of these animals so that just like Millie, every tale has a happy ending. She's like the best dog. She's such a sweetheart. Monica Robbins, 3 News. Oh, Kenzie. As you heard, still looking for his forever family. And we have more information on him and the BRC in our Ready Pet Go section on WKYC.com. An organization doing some good work for those dogs.